Hello and a very warm welcome to all the Times Now digital viewers. I'm Akshat Khanna and today I'm being joined by my colleague Shantanu and Deepak to talk about Gujarat elections. All the parties, be it BJP, AAP or Congress, they are leaving no stone unturned to make sure they win the state. But how are they actually performing? Let's get to know that. So Shantanu, to start with, why don't you tell us what is Congress's strategy for the state? As we know that Rahul Gandhi is being accused of missing the very important, prestigious elections of Gujarat as he hasn't campaigned there. So why don't you tell us a little more about what is the party's strategy for the state? Uh, so they are so much focused on Bharat Jodo Yatra. Of course, it's a it's an important campaign for them. Uh, but really, uh, when you when you talk to people, when you talk to senior leaders of Congress, and when you question them that why why they are not going to Gujarat, why Rahul Gandhi is not making multiple visits to the state, uh, as you say, like as you can see, Kejriwal is doing that. So they say that they have a broader perspective in mind. They want to uh, focus on 2024 elections. But in that case, when this Bharat Jodo Yatra concludes, and if they stare a loss in Gujarat, it's a major state, by the way. So that could be a setback for them. But still, it's like AAP is gaining there because AAP is AAP is holding electrifying campaigns. Kejriwal is mincing no words to mincing no words to attack uh, BJP. And so I think if Congress uh, goes at as at its pace, uh, AAP AAP will definitely gain something there. Deepak, coming to you, as Shantanu rightly mentioned that Kejriwal is taking out electrifying rallies in the state to garner support for his party. How do you think, as you have been covering AAP and Gujarat both aggressively, why don't you tell us what is AAP's strategy for the state? Uh, I think AAP's strategy is to, you know, uh, make its presence felt uh, in Gujarat. And they have been, uh, as Shantanu pointed out, they have been doing uh, a lot of aggressive campaigning in the state, uh, beat uh, Arvind Kejriwal or, you know, uh, importing Bhagavant Man from Punjab and, uh, and a lot of other things. So as we have seen uh, over the past five to six months, uh, AAP might be able to, you know, uh, succeed uh, to replace Congress uh, as the main opposition party in Gujarat. But uh, that could be, you know, uh, revealed only after the uh, after December 8th. Okay, so as you mentioned, I'm, I'm, I'm just reading this, that the battle in Gujarat is between Congress and AAP for the second position. It looks like that. It looks like that. And now when I see Gujarat elections, I find quite a similarity between both the states, which are, uh, which once Uttar Pradesh ke elections to hoi chuke hai, yes, yes. and uh, then Gujarat. So the similarity which I was thinking about was, uh, ahead of UP assembly polls, there were two major issues yeah, which had uh, engulfed uh, the whole uh, state and the opposition was leaving no stone unturned to, to turn it into an attack on the BJP. For example, the Hathras rape case, then the lucky protest that turned violent and claimed lives. So, uh, coming to Gujarat also, there is Bilkil, Bilkis Bano case, then there is Morbi tragedy. Interestingly, both the states are witnessing the same trend. While I was in Uttar Pradesh and I talked to the people, even though they acknowledged the mishaps that had taken place in their places, but they were still in full force and in full support of the BJP. Something similar is that being uh, happening in Gujarat. What, what do you think about that? thing is uh, in Gujarat it's like it's the model state what uh, PM Modi pitched in 2024 so his popularity is massive there so when uh, people call him Vikas Purush so development pitch is above all for BJP and that's what they are hammering uh, everywhere be it uh, uh, UP where they were like uh, doing uh, a spree of inaugurations of projects mm -hmm. and Yogi was uh, talking about double engine Sarkar so yeah mishaps yeah they they were like uh, BJ we thought that BJP will be on the back foot after Morbi Bridge tragedy but they handled it well because it's a well-oiled machinery mm -hmm. and they know how to how to deal with such things uh, Congress on the other hand uh, is not so uh, they, they they fail to you know uh, take chance, take their chances and go on to attack BJP over these tragedies and uh, because of uh, BJP's presence of mind, chain of command and so many other factors, they seem to have overcome that. 
I want to know, do you think, uh, is it just PM Modi or is it the development that is done by the party in the top states that is helping it to sweep the states back to back? Or is it another different model of BJP that we are perhaps not aware of? I think there are several factors. Uh, development is one thing. Uh, BJP has uh, a big card, hmm. Hindutva card. Hmm. So that uh, the party plays it well. And then there's, uh, you know, uh, nationalism card. Uh, that also party knows, you know, how to uh, touch the right nerve of uh, of the voters. So uh, coming to uh, Morbi tragedy and the Bilkis Bano case, uh, as we uh, saw in uh, uh, in Uttar Pradesh, uh, the Lakhimpur Kheri case and Hathras uh, case uh, could not, uh, you know, uh, be used properly by uh, the opposition parties, and it actually backfired. Uh, so that's why, you know. Uh, 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 Rahul Gandhi uh, this time said that we won't politicize the Morbi tragedy. Uh, but there were so many people killed, you have to seek accountability. How far do you agree with that? Uh, so the recent ground report by Times Now, as we were seeing, uh, people were saying that, okay, it's it happened, it's a sad thing. Uh, but, but the b- development pitch, uh, once again, and of course clubbed with Hindutva. When you club Hindutva development pitch, so it goes with BJP and BJP has that percept, B, uh, people have that perception that BJP is the sole party who can do all of that. So it dwarfs, it, even if it's a big um, tragedy, uh, somehow BJP has managed to dwarf those issues. But the, the gravity of such mishaps remain and it, ha- it, it will be the voters who will take the final call and we'll see the results on December 8. So perhaps it won't be wrong to say that development trumps everything. No, that then there is Hindutva card and there is pure national nationalism as Deepak said. So hmm. it's it's a variety of factors. It's a mix. Which, yeah, a mixture. A, so that is uh, turning out to be a true thing for BJP, which is a winning formula sort of. So perhaps this is it. It's the mixture which BJP uses to sweep the states back to back. But what will happen in Gujarat is something only time can tell. Do join us on the Rizal Day as Election Commission tells us which party swept Gujarat. Thank you.